Hi, everybody. It's Doug Green, and I'm the publisher of Technology Reseller News, and I'm very pleased to have with us today Kyle Weedinger. Kyle, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me on. Well, I'm really excited that we're going to be able to uh, to take a look at something that Talon is doing for its partners. It's very interesting, very different than normally what a company that offers products and some services does. You know, it's sort of almost stepping outside of the lane that you're usually in. So we're going to be getting into that in a second. But Kyle, just tell us a little bit about uh, Talon for a second. Yeah, sure. So Talon was uh, founded primarily hosting data um, originally. We stepped out of that role more than a decade ago and got into to phone systems. And we took our background in hosting medical data. We developed these relationships as a carrier. Um, and then we kind of hit a point where we said, you know, where do we go from here? Why not use all that insight that we've we've gained um, and, and kind of spread the love. And so we deal with managed service providers. We deal with VARs. Um, we provide SIP trunking as a carrier. We provide hosted instances, particularly for 3CX phone systems. Um, and we provide back-end support is, is really what it boils down to. And so we have partners all over the country that um, lean on us because a lot of these businesses, they, you know, they do a bunch of different things, right? They might not have time or the resources to be the end-all, be-all phone experts. And so we're, we're, we're kind of the backup for them. Um, we provide those services at a wholesale level. Uh, we don't deal with end users directly. And then, yeah, we provide that support to them when they need it 24-7. So, Cal, you know, we're in an, in an industry where sometimes the wrong people get blamed for an issue that comes up. You're 100% right. You know, phones nowadays are more network and internet based than ever before, right? Back way back when, if you had a phone problem, you knew who to blame. You knew who was the cause right. of that issue. Nowadays, telephony and networking are really one and the same. And what we see throughout a lot of our partner base is, you know, they there's a bunch of options on what type of phone system you have. And a lot of them don't have a ton of options on who their ISP is. But when there is a problem on that phone call, you know, a lot of the end users don't really understand how this works under the hood. Their first reaction is, hey, let's call my technology provider, the one that I have a, an agreement with to provide phone service and IT support and maybe disaster recovery. Uh, maybe they're managing the devices. And let's call them and say, hey, this, this phone system isn't working right. When really it could be functioning flawlessly and it's your connection to the Internet that, that that's the real problem. And so, you know, the partners are at the mercy of the internet provider. Exactly. And, uh, you know, the wrong people are getting blamed, basically. Exactly. And so what we are trying to do here is to give the partners an out, right? Give them the ability to insulate um, what could just be poor connectivity from their ISP. Um, give them a way to guarantee a high quality of service to their end users, because at the end of the day, what you don't want to have happen is you don't want to do everything right and be getting blamed for a problem that wasn't yours to begin with, that you, frankly, might not be able to fix because you don't have control over that connection. And, you know, the branding thing, it's very interesting. It's very important for a lot of the people out there that they put the, their brand on the phone that people we're, we're talking about here is literally there's a label on that phone that says XYZ Telecom or somebody, right? And that's huge for them. And you were just saying before we started, you know, it's way beyond just, hey, who, who gave us this phone or this phone system? It's, you know, we like that company. They're local. I know them. So a lot of our partners are, are local businesses and they do business in a, in a particular geographic area. A lot of them have a particular vertical that they specialize in. And so maybe it's education. And, you know, these schools talk in their peer groups, hotels, restaurants, um, you name it. A lot of net new business that our partners are seeing is because they've done a good job at previous deployments. And so it's really, it's really a shame when that can get interrupted by something that they 
once again, didn't have any control of in the first place. And so that was the catalyst for why we wanted to have a solution like this. Um, we wanted to have something, and I, I think I said it once before, but to insulate the partner from the ISP. So, you know, whether that connection is clear as day or whether, you know, they're having storms and, and you know, that, that internet is stuttering, they're getting a lot of packet loss or something, we can still provide a quality product that'll keep the end user happy. So Kyle, walk me through this. What What is one DMARC? Yeah, sure. So we basically will send a device to our partner um, at zero cost. There's no capital expense to this. That device will get dropped on the end user's network. We set up a uh, specialized VPN connection between that device and the Fusion hub that we have sitting in our data center. And then we provision an eSIM with 5G cellular data to that device. Now, what this connection does is it has a couple of features to it. Um, what you're seeing here is going to be uh, bandwidth bonding. So essentially what it's doing is it's taking the packets of data and splitting, it, splitting them up between the different internet connections that you have. Now you see three connections here. If it's just your ISP and your cellular connection, that works just as fine. And so it's taking advantage of both connections simultaneously and then reconfiguring those packets on the other end to uh, increase the quality of your service. Um, what you'll also see here, and is actually the most important feature, is the hot failover. So if someone snuck up behind me right now with a pair of scissors and, and just snipped the cord to my modem, we wouldn't even drop. This session would transfer over to cellular seamlessly. And then if someone snuck back over here and plugged it all back in, we'd switch right back. Um, there's another feature that you can utilize that's called WAN smoothing. Um, basically, that'll duplicate your packets and it'll send them you know, duplicate packets around each of your, your, your available WANs. And that does come at the expense of bandwidth, right? You're sending more total packets out of your network. But what that'll do is insulate you from things like packet loss. Because if a packet gets dropped, there's a duplicate packet somewhere in the mix that'll fit right into that slot. Well, this is really interesting. Uh, and you guys came up with this uh, just in the last little bit. Is that correct? Yes. The big the big catalyst for us being able to offer this as a whole product was up until recently, we still had to rely on the partner sourcing the cellular data themselves. They would have to contact the AT&Ts, the Verizons, the T-Mobiles, the big cell carriers of the world, sign up for some plan, get a physical SIM card and slot that into the device. And so that's a tough thing to offer because at the end of my conversation, I had to tell you, well, you know, go call your cell carrier and figure it out. And uh, obviously that's not ideal. So being able to offer data that's carrier agnostic in an eSIM is really what was able to bring this package together because we just provision that eSIM via the serial number of the device. We can look at the signals and see, okay, where is our best connection? Is it Verizon? Is it AT&T? Is it T-Mobile? What, what's the closest tower to you? And we just pump the data through that tower when needed. Um, we can also, you know, choose how strict we are with this. You know, are you failing over immediately and, and, and really no concern for data utilization? It's just we want to really optimize the, uh, the level of quality. Or is it something that this is our, we're keeping this in the back pocket in case we're hard down? right, in case there's actually a, a true outage. Um, that's going to be up to the partner, right, up to the partner, up to the end user, but we can accommodate both of them. Kyle, I, I wish we had a little bit more time today to talk about this, but this has been a good start yeah. in understanding this. I think you guys are probably the only people that are doing this. This is the only time I've heard about this. And the big key here is we do this at zero upfront cost. So it's just a monthly service. We provide all the gear, all the licensing, all the expertise, and the partner doesn't have to worry about it. <laughs> so, so this is really an exclusive offer. Yes. So we charge just a monthly cost for the service. We take on the cost of, of, of the device and of the licensing. And then the most important part, and what Telen really prides herself on, is we provide that expertise on setup. So it's not that you have to be an expert in setting up VMPLS connections or anything like that. All you need to do as the partner is, is get an interest from your end user, is to see that problem, propose a solution, and then, frankly, we'll we'll put something in the mail and, and help you deal with the rest of it. Kyle, where can we learn more about Telem? 
So you are welcome to hit Telen.com as our website. Um, you're always also welcome to reach out to sales at Telen.com. Um, that email goes to me as well as my associates. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd look forward to hearing from you. Kyle, again, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. I'm looking forward to doing another podcast, taking a deeper look at this. But for now, thanks very much. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, Doug.